Okay, we're out here. We've got some really, really bad weather coming in. The wind is blowing ferociously. We're just hoping and praying that we don't lose our corn and it blow it down like it did last time. That's that big, beautiful field corn. It's already, you can see how it's done twisted it up over there. Done leaned it over. It's just, you can see the trees. You can hear the wind coming if you'll just listen. There it comes. Watch it coming over these trees. Wind and Watch the, the corn. corn. Get our corn. We're just hoping and praying it don't break it off with all them big ears on it. See trees in the background. Corn. We're just praying that the wind will not break that not off. Not break it off because it is. Look at it blowing it down over there. Oh, oh. no. Oh no. Just praying that it don't break it off. It was hot a while ago, what, 10, 15 minutes ago? 10, 15 minutes ago, it was probably 100 degrees, and now it's probably down around 75. That quick of a change. Look how that corn has laid it down. It probably ain't, it has it's got it drooping. bent over everywhere. Now the rain. I hear the thunder. Maybe it won't do any more damage and that can stand back up. But you see how bent over it is. There's a bad thunderstorm somewhere close by. Look at the corn. It's going to blow it down, looks like. And those big old heavy ears on it. There it comes again. If it doesn't break it, we're okay. Okay, we had a bad wind storm yesterday evening. We're over here early this morning to check our corn out. It blew it down. A lot of it's blowed down. Just want to kind of give you all a little bit of a... A little bit of a view here, see if you can tell. A lot of it just blowed down. These ears are so heavy that um, we're going to have to try. We're going to experiment. We're going to lose them because the ants are starting to get up in them and going to eat them up. So we're going to try to cut them off and see if we can't take the stalks up to the barn in the greenhouse and hang them up and see if they'll dry in the barn. Okay, what you see right here, see there's a trail of ants coming all the way down this ear of corn here, and they've burrowed a hole into the side of it. They're going in there eating that corn. That's why we're trying to get this corn out of here, because when it leans over like this, those ants just take off up the stalks and try to get that corn as fast as they can. Okay, we're on the other end of the corn patch now. Like a majority of this is blowed down, so we're going to try to salvage what we can. Take it to the barn, hang it up, and see if it'll dry.
these ears, that's about all you can tote is three or four stalks. As you can see, this is three or four or four stalks of corn. It's all you can do to tote them. Okay, we don't try to, a lot of this corn just leaned over. We're going to try to salvage some of it and not have to cut it down. And what I'm doing is because it's so tall, is I'm, we're not going to have any more pollinating to be done. You can see one right here. One right here, I'm just going to take the tops out of this stuff because we don't need the tops anymore. Some of this in here, this in here, I'm just, that way these will, it takes some of the weight off of the tops of them. Because I don't need that now. These old ears are so heavy, so... some of that off of there maybe it'll some of the weight off of it so it'll continue to dry yeah I'll get it where it keeps the wind from being able to get a hold to it so bad too Okay, we got the back of the truck loaded up with some corn. Wanted to throw in that last little handful in there and we'll see if we can't get the rest of this here. Kind of show y'all a little bit about here. This corn, you can see the shucks when it's done turning brown on it here. It's just about to break and fall down. This wind storm just got in here a little bit early before we got to it it was in this particular stage which is why we can why we can save it but now some of them i'll show you what it's supposed to look like here's one here in the next part of that stage it uh get around a little bit better maybe you can see this is what it looks like when it gets about halfway ready to fall down in another about another week this corn would have fell right on down like this and that's what it was supposed to look like. And it would hang there and the moisture, no rain could get in it where the moisture could drip out the end down here. We're gonna take this stuff to the barn and we're gonna try to tie it and hang it up and see if we can salvage it after this bad storm come through and blew it all down at this point. Okay, this is after we've gotten the blow down ones. We're leaving the ones that are not on the ground. So as you can see, there's still quite a few standing, but they're basically blown over. We hope that by cutting some of the tops out, it'll allow them to pull on up enough till it dries, and we're hoping it will dry on the stalk. Okay, we're on the other end of the corner now. This side wasn't quite as bad. The wind hit the other end harder. The hickernut tree in the background there protected this one a little bit. Um, We've cut most of it out of there and what we have left, we're gonna leave and pray that another storm don't come through and break some of it down. All right, we're back here at the shop. We've got this corn out of the field now. It is 7.02 in the morning. So we've done been to the field, got all this truckload of corn because We've got to get this in the attic of this barn, and the attic of this barn gets to be about 150 degrees. So we've got to get this done and get it done quick. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you all a little bit about the process of what we're going to be doing to try to salvage our corn. All right, we're going to head in the barn with an arm load of this and kind of show you all a little bit about what we're going to be trying to do. Okay, we have our, I call this bull tape, that's what we call it here. It's what landscapers use for their pots and everything, doing trees. What I'm going to do is take this, I'm going to come 
way down on the stalk here. And I'm gonna tie it. I'm gonna tie it really tight. Because as these stalks dry, they're going to uh, shrink. And what we're gonna do is take this up in the barn and we're gonna hang it up like this with the ears hanging down to simulate what happens in the field when they dry naturally. The other part of this bull tape will be thrown over the rafters up there and then some more corn will be tied to the other loose end there. The knife that y'all see me using here is what's called a cane knife. It has a point there on it for stripping the sugar cane, and then it's got this blade part here for cutting stuff off. It's getting kind of dull right now, but it's usually a pretty good knife to use for this. If you're wondering why I didn't cut the tops off in the field, they're going to go in the compost pile over here so we have some extra compost, some nitrogen in the compost. We've got the corn home here. We're going we're gonna to make a couple of loops with this. That way it'll hold itself. And try to see if I can get this here. I gotta realize this is heavy. We're gonna tie a fireman's knot, something that I can let go of and it'll hold itself. All right, there we go. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to hang it up here in the barn, up in this hot attic, and let it dry. Okay, we're going to go in the greenhouse and show you what we've done with some of the corn here. This is one of our experiments we're trying here with the greenhouse. We have our corn. Hung upside down to simulate the same thing that happens in the fields. And the greenhouse is, well, it gets extremely hot in here, so we're going to see if this works. If it does, then we'll know we haven't lost our corn. We were going to lose it anyway, so we're just anxious to see how this works because I already see water dripping out of the ears here. I don't know. Lisa, here it goes. See it dripping? Yeah. If I can hold it still, yeah. There we go. It's already dripping out of the ears since we done turned it up. That's what we were hoping would happen. <laughs>